Hey, John Mark here. I'm um, doing a, a lesson part two on uh, multi fingered tapping. Uh, so, if you haven't seen my first multi fingered tapping lesson, uh, check that out because uh, we're going to use some stuff we learned in that one uh, for this one. Um, so, for the first one, it was just, you know, uh, doing a uh, tapping pattern with, uh, you know, just alternating, you know, index pull off, middle pull off, index pull off, middle pull off on the uh, right hand. Uh, and we're going to use that same pattern, but the first one, you know, it, we just stuck to the G string, did like a major scale, you know, like a... Um, whereas, you know, we're going to uh, traverse a couple different strings this time. Um, so, um, basically, uh, the lick this time is going to be more of a, you know, kind of a wacky, atonal kind of sounding thing. Almost uh, might sound something a little bit like uh, Bumblefoot would play. Uh, granted, this is a lot easier than something Bumblefoot would play. Stuff tends to be uh, impossible for us near, uh, mere mortals. Um, but this should be a, a very approachable uh, lick for you. They can, you know, kind of give you a similar kind of vibe. Um, so basically, the lick goes. Uh, I'll play it for you. So you know what I'm talking about here. <laughs> Um, so, like I said, kind of wacky and atonal, but, uh, it's fun to play. Um, so basically, uh, what we're doing here, let me adjust the camera so you can see, um, on the fretting hand, it's just going to be, uh, fifth fret, sixth fret, just going down each, each string, so, five, six, five, six. And then the uh, the tapping hand is just going to alternate, you know, middle index, middle index, you know, like. But now together, the two fingers are going to go. But then, uh, when you when you use all the strings, uh, you know individually, it's going to sound like this. So um, I think that's pretty straightforward. Uh, but uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to post.